Welcome back, my friends, to Kyle's Film Garage. This is Kyle. I am Kyle of Kyle's Film Garage. All right, so I just wanted to talk a little bit about what happens on a stage if you have no lighting grid on an open stage. So, yeah, let's get right into it. So we are today, we are on the set of Dropout and they're about to do another show. <sighs> Can't reveal much about what shows are doing and whatnot, so we don't do that here, but I can tell you this. So this is how you, there are many ways to do it, but if you have an open stage like they do here, then uh, you know, you're gonna have to light stuff. And so how do you, how do you have like overhead lights when you have like a, basically a big open space? So this is what they got going on. So, so what you got here, these are like basically rolling jacks and uh, they're, they're crank up, as you can see, like right here, this is a crank up rolling jack system. So you have like, you know, you got three parts, one, two, three, four, okay, four parts of the extension. So you can like roll it up as high as you want. And that is lighting truss. So basically what you see is you know, they come in sections, they come in like eight foot sections and whatnot, and they all pin together. And uh, so this is basically uh, about a 40 foot by 20 foot stage. And, and you have four of these guys. And then, so basically you got up top, you have your cross sections that you hang lights from. And you can see like right here, like that little, that little pin right there, like a, something will drop down from that little thing right there. And uh, they're kind of pre-running some power up here. But uh, yeah, so it, it's like a modular system that, uh, that, that they bring up and down, you know, for each show. So that way you can kind of like, uh, you know, whatever set you need, you can have as much or as little of a structure as you need for each show. So, so yeah, so that's what's up uh, in, in this particular area. Um, let's see. Do I need to show you anything else about, about this? No, I, I know that we have a couple other videos in here talking about the green screen. I have, uh, what is a green screen? Um, you know, I did, a, I did a video, what is a green screen? That's probably like four videos ago. Um, it was back in the day when, um, you know, when no videos were being shown. So I think like 40 people have seen that video, but I think it's pretty funny and clever. So if you wanna see, you know what? I'm gonna leave that at the end screen of this. So how, what is a green screen? It's a funny video, go check it out. It's gonna be, you know, one of the end screens. So if it's here or there at the end of the video, it'll be in right either of those places. So yeah, okay, cool. Let's go, uh, let's go look at more of the backside of water as long as we're here doing this kind of thing. So yeah, by the way, thank you for being here. And, uh, you know, click like on the video, share it, tell your friends about it, Kyle's Film Garage, support indie film, subscribe to the channel, do all those things that YouTube likes and, uh, you know, will say, hey, people like this video because lots of people have done these things that YouTube likes for you to do. And, um, you know, so I merely ask for YouTube to do those things. So, you know, I personally, you know, it's nice to get the validation, but YouTube needs validation. So help YouTube feel important and click like on this and subscribe to the channel because we want YouTube to feel important. So thank you. On that note, by the way, if you want to support indie film and the projects that I have going into the future, please Join my Patreon, Kyle Hester Actor Guy, three bucks a month, it'll go a long way. Or you can join the channel here on YouTube, and uh, if that's easier for you, but it all goes to supporting indie film, and we're gonna be doing Happy, which is, it's a short film that's gonna be about 
a sad rodeo clown. So it's gonna be kind of cool. So it'll be intense about a rodeo clown and, um, and what they kind of go through in this, in the whole rodeo world. So um, yeah, that's gonna be a good one. So stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, so let's go see what, we, what else we got going on. So as you may or may not know, I have helped over the last year and a half or so off and on my buddy to help build out the dropout um, set or not the new the new studio and whatnot so so this is uh we're just taking a little little tour let's see if i can get that light to go on come on no maybe hold it why is that not going one moment okay got the light on all right so this is a little backside of water here um going to this set of d20 there's nothing in here now so i wasn't able to show you before because there was a bunch of uh, things in here that would reveal things so not revealing anything so but this is this is the walls of d20 and um so lots of cool stuff takes place here on the dropout app so if you're not you know if you haven't subscribed to that they got some funny stuff so on there so they're not asking me to plug, you know, but I'm just saying if you if you haven't checked out D20, which is, a, you know, it's a Dungeons and Dragons. So check that out. And, um, and also all their hilarious stuff on their dropout app. So check it out. But yeah, so this is this is the uh, the the set of of D20 where there's nothing here right now. But so some, something cool, though. So these projectors right here will project on this wall. And um, so like during the game, if you've watched the show, then you'll kind of see the backgrounds change and whatnot. So they change from these projectors. So, which is really cool. Yeah, so basically um, I was part of making all of this stuff, all these sound panels for sound abatement and that kind of thing. When we, when we got into this space, there was no grid. So based on like they, first part of this video where it was talking about the grid so this system right here was not here so this is all all put in this is permanent so this is not like a wind up kind of thing this is like a a permanent grid they made for this so super cool stuff and by the way i appreciate you and do all those things that we talked about before to help youtube feel important and um I gotta go. I'll see you on the next video. Thank you for hanging out.